G'day everyone, Raid Zero AU, and welcome back to another episode of Imperium Galactic Survival in Alpha 4. This is episode 25. And so in our last episode, we're still over here at the uh, abandoned uh, factory. So in the last episode, we uh, finished, we made our way through and took out the core. So now all that's left to do is to loot the place. So let's go through and see. And we did look at these ones, but we'll we'll start grabbing stuff. I'm going to start grabbing it from the beginning, just so that I can run back out if I have to. Removing the containers as we go. Whoop. No timer. That is not the time to be ringing. Go. Talk about a bit premature. Crying out loud. Well, just in case you're watching, Shanna, there you go, there's a, there's an early one for you, so, that out, and come in here, and there's a couple here, And these sort of things here, I'll deal with them later. Maybe on the way out. Yeah, how much have we got on our inventory? We've got quite a bit in there now, so. Let's do a quick run. Keep hearing like a uh, one of the large minigun drones around, but I haven't had a spot it. All right, so we got some stuff in here, but to this side, oh, we got a fair bit of stuff in here as well. can do is we can use utilize some of these other things. There we go. Be moving. Yes. Stop moving. Yeah. Now let's see what we get from these things. Not much, to be honest. I was expecting a bit more from these things, considering like the the impressive looks. But bloody hell, nothing. No, no, they're just things. What we got in here. Bit of food, Sathium, Saskosium, and some emergency rations. That's quite nice. Better than the rare ones we looked at last episode. Jeez. They were a bit disappointed. Ah, one thing I forgot. Almost forgot, I should say. Behind one of these, and I reckon it's this one here. I'm one of these, there is, or at least there used to be, yeah, one of them. Yeah. 
which is an ultra rare. Let's have a look and see what we get. <laughs> Epic projectile pistol. Hmm. Would have preferred the epic uh the epic sniper or pulse rifle, but you know, biggest can't be choosers. And uh what is it? 90 damage and it holds 20 rounds. So it is an upgrade, so can't complain too much. So yeah, almost forgot that one, but there you go, just remember that's there. Basic stuff in here. Rare container. Large ammo box. A repair bay. That's nice. Tier 2 fuel tank. Power crawl. Yeah. All decent. That's decent enough. be basic stuff I think just ores and things like that near Dimian oops if I take it oh, I didn't clear that one out did I there we go uh, and we just might want to just double check at the back here nothing nothing Yeah. All right. All right. So I'll do is so I'll just go up and uh, just empty out a bit more of the inventory, guys, and I will see you back down here. Welcome back, guys. So here we are. Just been up and, uh, as I said, emptied the inventory. So we've got a bit more room. Not much in here except up here. So, and this is a very rare. Let's see what's in it. Gold ingots. Loves getting the gold ingots. An advanced constructor. That's nice. That can go in the uh, capital vessel. Medic station. Gravity generator. Hmm. Decent stuff. Decent stuff. I still think they should be giving more. Alright, let's see what we've got in these. Alright, texture plant protein sprout. Materials. Lots of building materials. look in those just in the hope that one day there'll be um, there'll actually be some fuel in them Reestrom and Zaskosium, lovely. Tier 3 fuel tank, that's good. Alright. Can't really complain too much about that one. Let's head down here. Alright, rare one. More Zaskosium and Reestrom. Tier 2 sniper. So the only thing we're not going to be able to take is those. Alright guys, sorry. Another cut in the uh, video. I will meet you back here again. Alright. 
So here we go again. So take that. One more building blocks. These are only ever going to be just your basic stuff. Just in those normal ones there. Alright, we'll keep moving down. Now. Lots of ingots. Not too much there that's overly important. In fact, what I'm going to do, rather than cut the video again, I'm going to. Some of these things can go back in there. Uh, we've got some of that. And what I'll do is I'll just leave those there just so that we know that we haven't touched those ones. Although we've still got stuff in those ones. I'll come back off camera and grab those. Alright, what have we got in this one? Very rare. Very rare. This is supposed to be very rare. LP, gold. Love's given gold. LP. Alright. this one that we yeah so some decent stuff here I mean these things do cost quite a bit to make um, but yeah you know I think it could have been a little bit better in some of those all right so that's basically the loot done in here as I said I've just got these ones here to uh, to do or to loot afterwards which I will do between videos we won't continue that now but one thing I do want to have a look at in this video is just going to head back to base and I want to have a look at that hydrogen generator that I put down so I will see you guys back there. Sorry, one, one last cut in the in the video. All right, welcome back, guys. Uh, here we are. This is uh, back over at the base, just going down to the uh, water's edge, where I place the uh, place the generators. Let's just bring it down a bit just so we can, uh, there we go, we use our drone. Alright, so this is the this is the first one I put in which is fully powered, so you'll see there, got 63 hydrogen bottles from it, I'm not going to worry about taking the oxygen bottles, no, I'll have to take those ones now because I picked them up. Alright, this one here is the one, now in this one I placed a single large fuel pack and we got 31 hydrogen bottles all right so just let me get back in the thing so just in case all right so we got 31 so that's going to give me enough to make, this is all about seeing whether, like, how worthwhile are the fusion cells. Obviously they're worthwhile because they last longer, but, so I put one large fuel pack in for that. So that is 50 Promethean pellets which is five Prometheum ore. Five 
for that. And for that you get 150 energy. The fusion packs take exactly the same as the large fuel pack as far as promethium, so five promethium and they take 10. Um, sorry, 10 hydrogen cylinders. So for one large, so for five promethium, we get 31 hydrogen. Thirty-one hydrogen, which will give us. Sorry, you can probably hear my dog barking in the background, which will give us three large fusion packs. So, which will be the thirty hydrogen, and then three more of this. So that'll end up being another fifteen promethium. So twenty promethium, thirty hydrogen. Well, effectively, 20 Promethium will give you three fusion packs. And the three fusion packs, they're 300 energy each, so 900 energy. And that in total has cost us 20 Promethium. So 20 Promethium would give us. four large because it takes five promethium to make one large fuel pack and they're at 150 each so four times 150 600 so for the same amount of promethium we're getting an extra 300 energy So we're getting 50% more on top. So that's actually not too bad. So hopefully that made sense. But yeah, so it does mean that the uh, fusion thing, they are quite expensive to make, but they are more efficient use of Promethium in the long term. The only thing is, it's very slow collecting the, um, the hydrogen bottles. So you're probably going to want a series of them if you're going to be using, if you're going to be dedicating yourself to fusion, um, the fusion packs, you're probably going to want quite a, a, a number of those running at the same time. So in fact, with that in mind, what we're going to do Have we got any fuel on us? No. But we got it in one of our boxes here somewhere. There we go. Ah, uh, let's see. He can come out. I'm just going to make sure these are all fueled up. So it actually does work out better in the long run, but as I said, it is a very slow process uh, getting those um, hydrogen bottles. You can see our capital vessel sitting over there, forlornly. I think it's got no engines in it at the moment. I will be fixing that between this and the next video and we will be um, continuing on our build over there. Picked up some decent loot and some good stuff for, um, to help us do that. Um, also the other thing I want to make uh, hopefully is, um, is a number of the tier 3 mining devices.
Um, and one of the first things we're going to want to do with the capital vessel is we're going to want to head to um, to get some Zascosium and Aresium uh, Aristrum or and what I want to do is I want to find the ore veins and just simply put a tier 3 down on there. Now obviously they only work while you're in that play field. Once you move away from the planet they don't actually, it's not like they work constantly. So, but it'll certainly be a lot easier. Those tier 3 mining, auto mining devices are quite good at, at collecting quite a lot. So... All right, so it took us a couple of episodes, but that's the uh, abandoned factory done. And also um, just that little experiment to see what the, uh, see how worthwhile those fusion packs were. So as I said, I'm pretty sure I got my maths right there. Um, I'm sure if I haven't, someone will let me know in the comments. Feel free. But I think what we'll do is we'll call the episode here. And um, we'll continue on with the Capital Vessel in our next episode. So I hope you've enjoyed what you've watched. If you have, please leave a like and subscribe. And I look forward to seeing you all next time. I'm Raid0AU, signing out.